Hey, good morning, folks. Dr. Starr here, uh, Silver Spring Medical Center. Um, just had a patient earlier today that asked a very common question and um, uh, mentioned a very common problem that people are many times having uh, when they start looking at better choices for diet and nutrition, um, whether they're on a medical weight loss program that we offer in the office or just in general. Um, the biggest problem is I, I don't have enough energy. I'm low in energy. And, uh, you know, I just don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like going to work. I'm, uh, I'm almost depressed. This can easily happen, okay, especially if people are making food choices that are very high in fat and very high in protein. Um, if you are having a, a, a diet primarily void of, or, or low, rather, in carbohydrates, and, and don't confuse sugar with carbohydrates. I mean, yeah, carbohydrates is sugar. I'm not talking about the bad stuff. I'm not talking about the refined sugars that you see in the, you know, the white powdery stuff. That's not what I'm talking about when it comes to sugar. Uh, and the essential ingredient for your body for energy is glucose. Uh, your cells run on glucose. The brain cells run exclusively on glucose, only glucose, okay? Your body's smart enough to make glucose, again, blood sugar, uh, out of fats and proteins, and it will, but uh, it's something called uh, gluconeogenesis. It's a process in the body that can and does happen a lot, but it's very labor intensive. Um, the body doesn't want to do that. I mean, it's, it, it wants to put the easiest, simplest form of, of energy and fuel into your body, and that comes from uh, carbohydrates, whether it's complex or, 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 or simple sugars. Um, the best source is fruits and vegetables, for sure. Grains, certainly very, very good. Rice, starchy vegetables fine but there's no substitute for the best food for a human which is really uh, fruits and vegetables um, the problem whether you're having a low calorie diet or a, a diet that's high in fat and protein but still relatively low in calories such as atkins and south beach and paleo type of diets diets you don't have enough energy you'll run out of energy run out of fuel very quickly the key is you have to have good carbohydrates. And no, you will never get fat from fruit. Okay, patients ask that all the time. If you wanted to go out and eat 3,000 calories of bananas, that's 30 bananas. Maybe more, depending on the size of the bananas. Uh, or that's you know, at least 20, 25 oranges. <laughs> go eat 25 oranges. You tell me how much you really want to have that piece of pizza or the bag of chips. You're not. You'll be full. And you'll have all of the water and all the fiber and all the vitamins and nutrients and all of the energy that you could possibly have. You eat a good high carbohydrate, low fat, low protein diet. I don't care where you are on the scheme of weight loss or just fitness. I don't care if you're a top athlete or you're just somebody starting out and needing to lose 40 to 50 pounds. If you eat that kind of food that's high fat, high protein, low carbohydrate, you are not going to have energy. You just won't. So our patients who are having low calorie diets, that's fine for now while they're having the medical weight loss program and, and counteracted with a bunch of the other tricks that we may utilize in the office to, to offset the hunger. But the goal is always the same. You must eventually move over to eating healthy and changing your lifestyle. Um, you have to start looking at foods and say, oh, those are high in fat, high in, car in protein, low in good carbohydrates, I'm going to stay away from those. The chips, the meats, the dairies, all those things that are super concentrated in calories, but they offer almost no good carbohydrates. Right? You know how much carbohydrates there are in, f in fish, meat, and chicken? None. You can't, it doesn't, the carbohydrate just doesn't, doesn't exist. There's only a little bit of carbohydrates in dairy, and that comes from lactose, and you don't want that because you're going to be intolerant to it. So what's the point? Besides, all the extra fat that you're taking in from the bad foods is going to sludge up your blood. It's not going to allow your tissue cells to oxygenate properly. You're going to be basically suffocating. It's not a good way to go. But if you put good carbohydrates into your body and you re reduce or eliminate all extra fats from the diet, fruits, vegetables, grains, a little bit of seeds. It's the way to go. You want to still eat meat and fish and chicken? Okay. Small amount. <clears throat> Small amount. So you can't have too much fruits and vegetables ever. You really can't. I challenge anyone to say, oh, you're going to eat 
all those bananas and all the citrus and all the mangoes and all the papayas, you're going to become fat. I challenge anybody to do that. I challenge anybody to do that. It's not going to happen. Okay, it just won't happen. It's not in the literature. It's not in reality. So if you're feeling low in energy and you're feeling low in drive, you need to up your fruits and vegetables and grains. You need to eat more of the good carbohydrates and less of the fats and proteins. That's it. That's the simple message. All right. So if you want to go over a certain number of calories that you're eating, that's okay as long as it's good foods. But don't tell me that you're eating more calories of just chips and high fatty things. That's going to wear you down. That's going to drag you. You eat a high diet, a diet that's high in fruits and vegetables, and I mean a lot. You're going to have all the energy you need. You are going to have all the easy recovery after any kind of workout that you need. You will have less soreness, more energy, back on your feet every day. You'll never run out of gas. All right? Now you know. Have a great day.